when you uh, go into the latter stages. But here come the two sides. And as you've mentioned, they both look determined going into this. We've mentioned it in the commentary. They've both been finalists in this competition before and both want to go one step further this year. Tottenham Hotspur and Stellenbosch FC from South Africa, the one South African, African side in this competition this time round. And the last thing to mention in terms of the setup of the competition, there will be a penalty shootout no matter the score after this. And whoever wins that penalty shootout will get one point to the league table, along with, of course, the three points if we do have a winner or one point each if it is a draw as normal. So let's take you through the lineups and we'll start with Stellenbosch, our side from South Africa. It is constant roll on, roll off subs, which means all the substitutes I'm sure will be used. And if a player has been taken off at some point, they might be able to come back on uh, if the manager decides that's what they want. As the uh, Tottenham Hotspur lineup, it will be the uh, same for them. Williams is a name that has featured in the uh, Premier League Next Generation Cup before a couple of years ago. Spurs noticeably with a uh, bigger bench than Stellenbosch. As Samuel Archer is the uh, man in starting in goal. Dante Orr occupying the fullback position and uh, starting up top, Harry Bryan for Tottenham. But I'm sure that's going to change as the game goes on with those rolling substitutes. Stellenbosch pick it out in the centre. And how about that for a pass over towards this near side? This is Bailey. Goes for the early delivery and it's a chance at that back post. And almost an opening goal for Stellenbosch. The major with the strike. Playing for the under-20 national team. But striking just wide on this occasion. Well, the position he picked up there just shows why it's called the major. He's earned that title, hasn't he, amongst the ranks in the under-21 sides. That was really, really good pick out. The move in general was splendid. And they're not finished there. That's another dangerous ball. Importantly defended. It was Thompson. And he's back with the captain, Ahmed. It's been a bright start from the South African side. Felix looking to loop one over the top, and that's not a bad ball, too. Spurs again getting there with the last ditch tackles, but again not clearing as they would have wanted to. And Stellenbosch is still going on here, and it's another massive chance for the opening goal. Ends up coming off the top of the crossbar. That's two chances in the opening three minutes for Stellenbosch. Well, to begin with, brave defending, but he couldn't clear his lines there. And they've just got back in really tidy footwork from the Stellenbosch forwards. I don't know, maybe he wasn't ready for the chance. It's up. That press is broken, it's fantastic work. And now they've won it back again. And there's going to be a strike from the halfway line. It's catching the goalkeeper off guard. Oh. And it was almost a stunning goal. Stellenbosch. Was it the right option? I think that's going to be the question asked at half-time if they're not winning this. But they might be taking the lead here because they've won it back again. Another opportunity and another chance, which isn't taken. Felix this time with the strike. Those are three incredible opportunities. And you just see how well he picks up the ball. Great tackle. And he sees the keeper off his line. And Arch is worried, you can tell. But it's a really good palm. It's a really good palm away. He gets it far away from the goal. And he looks a bit comfortable. Archer. And if it wasn't for him, it would be 1-0 Stellenbosch at the moment. It still might be as they come on forward here with Bailey. And it's a fantastic ball towards that back post. Here's another chance, another fantastic save. And still, Stellenbosch can't find that opening goal as Archer, the hero again for Tottenham. Get your man of the match ready, Tyler. But brilliant cross. Really, really good cross to the back stick. It's missed by the defender, which was really, really unfortunate for him. Just lost the ball in the air. But Archer ready on the spot, jogging on the spot, waiting and anticipating. So it's back to the direct approach. It's a dangerous ball. Archer's done enough for now. But still the chance is alive for Stellenbosch. And wide it goes once more that time. It was the major. He couldn't wrap his foot around it this time. 
He's just beaten his man. He's brought it down really well under pressure. 50 50 is all his. He's, he's confident in every single one, but he just couldn't get it back across goal. But where the danger might just take place from a Tottenham point of view when they initially beat the Stellenbosch press, but they haven't made the most of it. And Stellenbosch are quick to get in behind again. It's a fantastic pick out. And again, there's an opportunity for the major. But yet again, it's Archer with a fantastic save for Tottenham to deny the major. He must be psychic. He just knows to where to be at the right place. What a brilliant scoop, by the way, from the Stellenbosch central midfielder. Major again making that brilliant run. He did really well to take it in his strikes. It wasn't easy. Again, he's showing real technical quality. The Major so far. But Archer matching him and every other Stellenbosch player so far that's come his way. Here comes the latest of the corners. It's another fantastic delivery. And it's Stellenbosch who take the lead. And after all the chances that they've had, it looks like it's a Spurs player who's helped them out in terms of the opening goal. Yeah, first real good corner Stellenbosch have put in today. And they've whipped it in right onto the six yard box and he's just turned his back there. It's really unfortunate, but he's turned his back there, Oliver. And it's just ricochets. You've got a feel for the lads that you've got to keep your eye on the ball, especially on set pieces. It's so important, and he's paid the price there. And it's put Tottenham 1-0 behind in a game. Logan's going to get it back again now on the near side for Spurs. That's a nice ball in behind. How can Tottenham respond? Williams going on and forcing the first save of a sheen of the afternoon. They're really aware of where each other are on this pitch at all times. I think they're all on the same wavelength and that's been drilled into them in training. You can really tell. And Tottenham giving it away again. There's the strike from a long way out and it ended up a long way away from the target from Bailey. Oliver though, a bit lazy. On, in possession there, the pass wasn't perfect. Stuck a leg out. And when the ch time came for him to really recover, he didn't put the work in and it allowed the shot. I think it was a bit... Okay, the heavy touch there, big factor, but it's also the pressing again. Here comes the major now for Stellenbosch, chopping back onto his right foot. There's another opportunity, and it just seemed like it was rushed from Keenan, almost a Stellenbosch second. Resorting back to the first few minutes, the types of shots they were taking. I don't know, maybe it's something they need to work on just in their warm-up. But almost you could question. Make themselves a big opportunity. It's a sport of moments, Tyler. It's a sport of moments, and Stellenbosch have had many. Tottenham might have their own moment here in behind. It's a fantastic flick towards Williams. But how about that from a block to deny the Tottenham attacker? Logan. And a dangerous ball into uh, Williams again, but it looks like the flag is up against the fullback of Spurs. More Tottenham this half, wouldn't you say, Tyler? Yeah, the energy hasn't quite been the same from Stellenbosch, understandably so. Tottenham have definitely settled themselves, but Stellenbosch coming forward there. It's some move up to this point. There's the major, but he couldn't quite get his finish right. A golden opportunity for the number seven. Leaning back, leaning back, a classic mis mistake. But he's in the position again. And that's what matters. If you keep getting in those positions, you're going to get chances. And he's had some today, and he'll have some. Sandbush making their way over to the near side. The Major with a fantastic turn. This time forced on towards his left foot. He's still going on. And it landed in the gloves of Archer. It could have gone anywhere with the ball towards the near post. And Logan. Williams. It's a nice skip in field, and there's the strike and a comfortable save for a Shane. Well, that's the second time a Shane's just had to really calmly collect it at chest height for him, and he's a tall man. He's a very tall man, <laughs> this under 21 goalkeeper. So, chest height, he's, uh, he's perfectly capable of saving that. Hardy playing it on forward. Tottenham giving it away. Stellenbosch now have a chance to try and capitalise as it's chopped in field and an important save from Archer to deny Bailey. One of the more yeah, just couldn't make the most of that opportunity. Could they? 
which is quite infuriating, I'm sure, for Tottenham, but they're getting in to the right positions as well. Well, they're running out of time, that's for sure, as there goes the full-time whistle. It's been entertaining, that's for sure. It's been a game that has deserved more goals than what we ended up having. Yeah. And a higher quality goal, that's for sure, because there's been quality on the pitch, but it was an own goal which separates the size. Oliver heading it into his own net from the Stellenbosch corner in the first 25 minutes of the game. But Stellenbosch able to hold out and able to win their opening game by a goal to nil against Spurs. So a chance for either Spurs to claw one point back or Stellenbosch to take all four. Do you think this has played with the heads of a bit of Spurs now, with Stellenbosch taking a little bit longer, the Spurs players having to wait on that halfway line. It's all mind games here. So much goes into a uh, penalty shoot, that's for sure. It's not just the kick of the football. I mean, we saw it before. There is a stat that the team that takes first is more likely to win. We saw that with the first shootout involving uh, Everton this morning. So will it be advantage Tottenham because they are to take first in terms of the penalties? As it's Lehane who steps up for Spurs. Well, Alshin's height might give him an advantage. He's just touching the crossbar already, just on his heels. Lehane looking to beat him in the first kick of the penalty shootout. And he calmly slots it into the corner and Tottenham are ahead. Composed penalty, something I think both teams actually lacked in the game despite how entertaining it was. But no, he's called his head there. He's got into penalty shootout mode in his brain and he's slotted it away perfectly. They're just right in the bottom corner. The goalkeeper really couldn't do much about it. It's like a professional where he just waits for the goalkeeper to make his move and he places it on the other corner. It takes real bottle that, real bottle. And now he's set the tone for Stellenbosch. As it's Slade who will look to equalise straight away. Taking on Archer. It was brilliant for Spurs, but there's nothing he could have done about that. Sent the wrong way, the goalkeeper. And Stellenbosch are level in the shootout. Archer tried his best just to stay on his feet as long as he could. But Slade did really well there. He took his time. He had available to him. The little stutter as well sent Archer, I think, just a bit early. And he's using all the tricks in the book. And Elliot Paris next for Tottenham. Their second taker. What can the number 19 do from the spot? Well, one thing he can't do is score from the spot. A fantastic dive from Machine to make the save. And the first big moment in the shootout sees Spurs denied. A well, humongous roar and cheer there from the Stellenbosch bench. But I you've got to feel for Paris because it's not a bad penalty. He's kept it low, it's nearing the corner. But when you've got such a long reach as Arshin does, it's always going to be difficult to beat him when he goes the right way. Um, look at him, he's smiling, he's chuffed with himself and as he should be, it's a really, really good save. Not much wrong with the penalty. But the goalkeeper deserves all the praise in that situation. Well, this man, Tylon, was superb defensively throughout the game. Let's see what he can do from the spot. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. Oh, no. That's a real tough one to take for Tylon, especially after, as you say, such a good performance in the 50 minutes to then lose it in the penalty shootout. But look, penalties can mess with players' heads, and it's just off the crossbar. As we see, he was trying to be cute. I think maybe down the middle always seems to be a safe option. The goalkeeper doesn't really want to stick. He's always going to twist. But he's, he'll learn his lesson. You don't need to go for so much height next time. But he's just got to hope his players and his teammates bail him out again. So here comes Thompson for Tottenham. Penalty number three. And this one is accurate. An arrow into the bottom corner. And Spurs are back in front. Redeemed Elliot Paris there. I think that's exactly what his teammate was trying to execute earlier, but it isn't such an easy easy task to do. And again, goalkeeper Oshin went the right way. He went the right way. As you see, he's gone to his right, just can't get down quick enough. 
And yeah, really, really good strike. Keeps it low, precise. It's all you can ask for. It's what you do on the training grounds. And this is the situation where the pressure does start to build on Stellenbosch. Three kicks taken from Tottenham. This is number three now for the South African side. Keenan stepping up. And Keenan after the stutter, sending Archer the wrong way. As cool as you like from the spot. And we are level again. Stellenbosch have been practicing their penalties. You can tell with the way they run up to the ball. It's the stutter now from number player one and player three now, who are both the goal scorers for their side in this shootout. They just know exactly when to kick, when to run. Their footwork's immaculate when taking these penalties, and that's so important in so offensive it's, shootouts. It's Bryant next for Tottenham. Penalty number four. And Brian has missed the target. And all of a sudden, it might just be advantage Stellenbosch again. It's just gone for power there. He's been rash. And it could really harm them in the next kick now by Stellenbosch. Did he need to, Tyler? Well, the most important thing, that's for sure, is to hit the target with the penalty spot. That's the one biggest mistake you can make, I guess. Yeah, no. Very true. Wise words. But now Stellenbosch is number 14, is really hoping to put this to bed. They scored this and they might just help the odds in the favour of the team kicking second now in those overall statistics. Chikeho stepping up and he's denied as well. And all of a sudden after four kicks taken and still level in the scoreline, just like that, it's going to be sudden death. It's like we're watching another 50 minutes of these two teams. It's back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> and neither really wants to take that advantage, capitalise. I think the pressure might be getting to them, but great save. It was down the middle, and this time he did stick Cameron Archer. And he managed to make the save. Arshin now pressure back on him. So Monka next for Tottenham. Oh, and he's just about snuck it through the gloves of the goalkeeper into the bottom corner. And now the pressure's really on Stellenbosch. Sudden death, no one wants to be taking part in this. But the major, major speeder one who's okay <laughs> with such pressure. <laughs> he doesn't really look faced, does he, Tyler, walking up to take this? Well, it's been so good all afternoon. But there is quite literally no situation where there's more pressure on a single player in football is when you have to score in a penalty shootout. And he's going with a unique kind of run-up. But he's rewarded because he finds the back of the Tottenham net. And we are level and sudden death will continue. Brilliant penalty there. Brilliant penalty for the major, showing why he is an under-20 national player for South Africa. I mean, we knew there were going to be stars, individuals and teams, and he's really proving himself to be one. The Stellenbosch sides and coaches, bench, camp, and all the country really who are watching this match right now, they knew he was going to be a weapon for this team. Miritaj is next for Tottenham, and he is called from the spot. And again, the pressure back with the South African side. Down the middle, got the job done. Not much more you can ask for. I think these players now just want this game done with. I think they want to finish this penalty shootout, regather their heads and get ready for tomorrow because it's such a fast-paced tournament. There's little breaks for all these sides and you want as much rest as you can get. And it might just be close to finishing here because Avontir has to score for Stellenbosch. A sudden death goes on and the pressure will not end. Avontir for Stellenbosch. What can he do from the spot? He can score in style. That's got to be one of the penalties of the day. Really, really composed there. Staring down the goalkeeper, Archer, just before taking it. He knew what he wanted to do as soon as he picked up that football. Yeah, he's just arrowed it, hasn't he? Right into the bottom left-hand corner. And as the shootout gets deeper and deeper, you get closer to the players who didn't particularly want to take a penalty. 
It is a Tottenham defender now stepping up in Logan in penalty number seven. Up he steps the wing back. But it didn't look with the quality of the penalty like he didn't want to take it because it's as cool as you like. You said the last penalty was the best of the bunch so far. Well, I think we've got a new one straight away. Yeah, I think we gave the awards now to Logan from Spurs. Look at that, the composure he shows there just to dink it. The Penenka we all love to see, don't we? The goalkeeper hates it when it goes in. He's left with egg on his face. But the audacity there to take on such a strike in such a high pressure situation and potentially to win that one point as well for his side after losing the three. That's really special. As it's Pile, who will step up here for Stellenbosch. Once again, he has to score from the spot. And he doesn't score, which means Tottenham, despite losing the match, do win the shootout, do get themselves a point to narrow the initial deficit after the 50 minutes. It was a fantastic penalty shootout, not the ending Stellenbosch would have wanted, but really it's been a fantastic game, a fantastic afternoon of football from both sides, entertainment all round. But it's Spurs who win the shootout by uh, five goals to four after the win from Stellenbosch by a goal to nil in the game itself. And what a game it was.